Hello, welcome back to Tactical Tuesday with Johnny Tiger. Date is November 29, 2022. As you can tell,、uh, I'm feeling a little bit more energetic, which means I'm getting a lot better. Although there's still a little bit of a cough, itchy in the throat that's left. Uh, but for the most part, I'm feeling pretty good. Quite often, when you look at pe- how people fight today, especially when people are fighting、uh, on on foot, when they're striking,、uh, kicking, striking, punching, all that stuff.、Uh, You will see their movement being more like very graceful. There's a lot of gliding and low stances, a smooth transition, hop, skipping from one foot to the next, moving, 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 moving in and out. Very almost silent.、Uh, if you pay attention, if you go to a martial art studio or a dojo. And you watch people spar、um, when they're on their when they're still standing. Now, if they come to grip and then grappling, then, then you start to hear more noises. But other than that, when people are actually just sparring, like punching and kicking, there's a lot of very gliding movement like that. This is. Because a lot of people today,、uh, martial art becomes a thing of beauty. It's a thing for show, and a lot of movement are supposed to be graceful and attractive and look very impressive and silent like a ninja. However, if you have had the chance to look at medieval Manuals, fighting manuals,、uh, or if you have、uh, the chance to watch how people actually fight when they practice the more ancient martial arts,、uh, especially when weapons are involved, you will see that a lot of time they didn't worry about being graceful. A lot of the time, the movement they're still controlled. But their footwork is very aggressive, very clunky, right? So rather than this gliding in, swinging the sword, gliding out, you see this. There's a lot of stomping down with your foot. Yeah. So why is that? It's because they're. Are advantages to when you slam your foot down into the ground.、Um, those of you that have practiced Tai Chi may have heard the term "grounding yourself," sinking into the ground, and this is basically one of the advantages. If you stamp your foot down when you do your martial art movement. If you don't believe me, next time when you hit your punching bag, okay, when you hit your punching bag, rather than gliding, right?、Okay, that's a simple jab, a jabbing, gliding. If you stamp your foot, you notice that it really max out your punching power when you do that. Because when you stamp down, it the energy is already traveling up your body, and there's a bit of recoil, which will come out the other end. Which means if I stamp the foot with my stamp the ground with my foot, then that recoil will actually help power my fist for forward like that. Okay, so you are using 
that kinetic energy when you ground yourself into the uh, floor to power your swing. This is why in activities, when there's a lot of lifting and power required, like grappling, when you try to take someone down, people don't worry about being very graceful. A lot of time, when there's grappling involved, it's going to be <coughs> you step down and then you do the throw, right? So that is one of the main purpose of stomping in a fight. Is it will actually help emphasize the power that you need to put out. However, there is an underlying uh, benefit with stomping as well, which is less useful in modern martial art, but very useful in medieval martial art where a lot of the uh, fighting were actually practiced so you can go fight on the battlefield. You actually need to kill your enemy. When you get very comfortable with stomping, the next thing that comes naturally is stomping on your opponent's foot. Now, I have talked about this in the past, that it is actually not a very uh, reliable self-defense method, because a lot of people, when they are learning self-defense, especially women self-defense, uh, they learn, if someone grabs you, you want to step on their foot and they'll let go. And I mentioned this before, that this is not very reliable because if you run into someone who has steel toe boots, or if you got someone who have a good pain tolerance, or if you just stamp on the foot at the wrong angle, it's not going to work. However, while this is not something that you want to rely on solely for your self-defense, there's nothing wrong with sneaking a few foot stomps in when you are fighting. Eh? Because most of the people, as human psychology go, if there's someone aggressively stomping toward your foot, you get nervous. You want to get away from them, even if you're wearing steel toe boots, okay? Now, if I'm fighting you, I'm wearing steel toe boots, and you just take your foot and oh, stamp on my foot, just one time. First, I didn't see it coming, obviously. Second, I'm not going to feel it. So that doesn't have a lot of effect. However, if I'm fighting you, and I'm wearing steel toe boots, and you start going <coughs> toward my foot, and that's going to mess up my whole tactic. That's going to uh, seriously work on me. Because now, even though I'm wearing steel toe boots, I am thinking, uh, maybe I should get my ankle away from that. And is, is, he going to, is he going to step, like hit my shin? Is he going to get my kneecap? So, it's a psychological warfare kind of deal, okay? Psychologically, when you stomp aggressively toward aiming for someone's leg and foot, it will mess up that person's game. If you don't believe me, next time when you uh, get a chance to play fight, to spar with somebody, no matter if you are doing Taekwondo or boxing or whatever, assuming that you tell them that you'll be doing the Krav Maga rule rather than boxing rule, eh? give it a try. The moment the sparring match starts, you go in and start stomping towards their foot and see what happened to them. I bet you the, 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 the first thing that's going to happen is they are going to try to run away from you. Eh? work really really good in a fight is it a little bit of a dirty tactic yes but that's what self-defense is about know how to exploit human weaknesses now those of you that have been watching the screen probably have noticed that i'm not stomping 
how a lot of people probably think how stomping is. A lot of people, when they think of stomping on someone's foot, they think of picking up their foot and jumping forward onto the person's foot, okay? They might turn their toe outward like this, and then they stomp, okay? Very bad idea. Why? Because your body mechanic is totally off. When you pick your foot up and stomp forward, you are landing on the edge of your foot, which means if your ankle is off, you're going to twist your ankle and down you go, okay? Even if you do get their foot, you're not going to get your whole weight on it very good, again, because you're coming down on the edge of your foot. Your balance is off. So let's say you don't turn your foot, you stump straight. Well, that's not going to work either because the first thing, usually the first thing that's going to make contact is your toe, which you can't have your whole weight on it. It's not going to hurt them that much. Okay, so the proper way to stump someone's foot, toe, ankle, shin is to turn sideways, almost like you're throwing a sidekick. Okay, so when I'm going to stump someone, I'm twisting my hip, so that's why I'm going to use my right foot. I twist my hip, so my right hip is forward, and then I stomp down with my right heel, like, I take, like I'm doing a side lunge, like I'm jumping to the side. And I'm going to come down on my heel, come down on my heel, come down on my heel, like that, with my foot coming down this way to the side. It's like throwing a side kick towards the ground. This way, I can guarantee that every step, I'm very well balanced, and every time I make contact with their body part, it's going to be my heel that's driving in, right? and my whole weight is going to transfer onto that. Not to mention, if I stomp like this, even if I were to miss, when I stomp down and missing my elbow, is already in range. So, in addition to stomping, I will be throwing elbows, I will be throwing hooks. I set myself up for a lot of opportunities. Okay, so don't get lazy when you are going to go for the foot stomp. Don't just pick your foot up and stamp forward. Okay, to actually turn your hip and stomp sideways. Stomp sideways, okay? And don't just pick your foot up and put it down. You, when you put that foot down, you got to jump onto it, okay? As you can see, when I do my stomping, when I do my foot stamp, I'm jumping onto the foot. I'm jumping onto that every time. If you ever want to uh, practice, proper stomping, uh, there are a lot of ways to do it, but one of the ways I like to do is get a cushion, put it in front of you, and then do your stomping on that cushion and see, are you keeping your balance or are you almost slipping when you step on the cushion? Are you driving that cushion into the ground when your foot touches it? Uh, and that's a good start. Thank you for checking out today's Tactical Tuesday. We'll be back again tomorrow for some wisdom Wednesday. For now, have a good night.